Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer and it's been a couple of slow days on the transfer front but we are finally back with a transfer to talk about. Guys, we're going to be speaking about Sunderland today and this is a transfer that has been going around today. It was broke earlier this afternoon and the player we're going to be speaking about is this man, Dion Sanderson, which I'm sure Sunderland fans will be delighted to hear. You guys are once again linked with Dion Sanderson, of course, spending time at the club two seasons ago. Guys, before I jump into the video, please do me a favour, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well. We're going to be keeping you up to date with all the latest transfers and, of course, we'll be keeping an eye on Sunderland transfers as well with you guys returning to the Championship this season. Now, of course, uh, Dion Sanderson had a great time at Sunderland too seasons ago and it's been emerging in different places this afternoon the story broke firstly uh, I saw it firstly in the Daily Mail but then also across local platforms in both Wolverhampton and Sunderland the local papers are reporting it as well but uh, Sunderland are back in for Dion Sanderson of course he's fantastic loan with the club two seasons ago where he's really well sought after. And to be honest, speaking to some Sunderland fans at the time, there was some real ambition that hopefully they could get him back into the club, whether that was in a permanent signing or a loan signing at the time. I think, unfortunately, Sunderland's failure at the time anyway to get into the Championship put that to bed and it did mean that in the following season he had originally moved on to Birmingham City where once again Sanderson was held in such high regard with Birmingham. It took him a little bit to break into the team but I think that was similar if I'm not mistaken at Sunderland. He didn't instantly break in but once he did break in and he was absolutely fantastic and Birmingham fans are really gutted to see him recalled to be honest. Of course he was recalled um, in January and this was because Wolves didn't have many defenders and it was between himself and Toti Gomez who was really a little battle in uh, kind of went on of who was going to be the basically the chosen defender and the other one would go back on, on loan. Long story short Bruno Large did opt for Toti Gomez but sent Sanderson back out on loan where he was at QPR and he made 11 appearances for QPR but this is probably the only loan um, transfer I've seen him. And guys, if you don't know, we are, are we and James that run this channel are Wolves fans. It's the only loan where I've not really seen him maybe like held in such high regard after such really back-to-back -back successful loan periods. Well, of course, the uh, rumour has broke today that two clubs are in for him, one being Sunderland, the other being Sheffield United. Now, it's been rumoured that on the Wolves' point of view, Wolves will be entertaining both loan and buy options. Now, this is an interesting one because surely you'd think the club would have a preference. So I don't know whether that means that ideally um, Wolves would prefer to sell him, but if not, they're open to the option of loaning him out or whether it's an option that should Wolves need the money. Of course, there's a massive rebuild going on at Wolves. Wolves would perhaps be, um, you know, more than willing to let Sanderson go should the right fee come in. Um, obviously, this would be massive, I think, for Sunderland fans because Sunderland have already had Sanderson. There's a good relationship between the club and the player. And I'm really positive that the player himself would entertain going back to Sunderland. He had an absolutely great time there, spoke very highly of Sunderland. And I imagine if the opportunity came, he would like to sign for them again. And of course, from a Wolves point of view, if they did choose to loan Sanderson out... You've got to think they already know he's had a good experience with Sunderland and it would be a good loan. The other option, obviously, Sheffield United, which I do want to touch on, though, of course, Morgan Gibbs-White, guys, for uh, your reference, did go out on loan to them as well. So it's also a good relationship with Sheffield United as well. I don't know with this one. I feel maybe if the player had the choice, I feel maybe he would opt for Sunderland. I really do. I think he had a great time there. Spoke really highly of ev everyone at the club. Spoke really highly of the fans. And I think it would be perhaps a move he would entertain. It remains to be seen whether it will be a loan transfer or a transfer fee, meaning that he would move directly to the club. But one thing is confirmed, and that is that Sunderland are 
going to go back in for him and try and uh, basically get the services of Dion Sanderson. So, guys, let me know your thoughts on this one. Sunderland fans, are you excited for it? Um, from what I've heard, speaking to quite a few Sunderland fans, he was so, so highly regarded at the club. So I'm sure this would be welcome news and would be a welcome first signing on the way back to the championship. And as I said at the start of the video, guys, if you have enjoyed it, help me out. Hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We're going to be keeping you up to date with all the latest transfer activity. And with that being said, hopefully I'll see you on another video. Goodbye.